If you've seen my previous gaming test, you're probably familiar with this Omaria Scene app. Basically, I use it to do gaming tests. And today I'm going to show you in three different phones, three different brands, how to set it up and get it working reliably. Let's get started. Selamat pagi. Good morning, everyone. Kenneth here and welcome to my tutorial. And I'm sorry, I'm going off the scripts here, so I might blabber around a little bit more than usual. We got three different phones here. First, the Infinix Zero Flip here. This is the IQ Neo 10 as well as the Poco. All three different brands with three different operating systems. Basically, the steps are pretty much the same, but let's see if we encounter any difficulties in setting up. Okay, so let's get started with the Infinix here because I haven't actually installed the Scene of Mario app. So what you're going to do is go to your browser and type this down just google it and download the first thing that comes up at the top that's vtools.omaria.com so now that the website is open we're going to scroll down and tap on this download button so we're going to download it right now and just press keep and we're going to open it install and on this infinix unfortunately the app could not be installed because it's blocked by google play protect what you're gonna do to bypass that is go to play store you tap on your account you go to play protect tap the gear icon and disable this just pause it it's fine you don't need to disable it entirely all right so now we go back to our browser and we go to downloads we install it one more time and right now it will be installed and we tap on open. So we are going to allow that as well as agree to the terms and conditions. What we're going to use is the ADB mode. And in my previous videos, I actually used Suzuku app here to grant the ADB mode. But unfortunately, I found this to be really unreliable. Sometimes it just crashes in the middle of a test. So I found a new app that performs more reliably and that's called Prevent. So we're going to install this thing. There you go. This is Prevent. We accept the terms and conditions one more time. So basically Prevent is like an app to prevent apps to be closed in the background but we go all the way to enjoy launch prevent here we're going to use its side feature to run the adb mode so the setup is the same as suzuku here we're going to go to developer mode if you don't know how to use developer options then you just google it it's very easy you scroll down turn on wireless debugging and tap on the actual name itself we're going to go pair device with pairing code we have this pairing code right here and we're going to wait until the notification comes up if it doesn't come out you try to go back go developer again and then wireless debugging port right there now that we are on this page we can go back to this developer options we go down to wireless debugging and tap pair again so we have this and there you go we reply with a six digit code that i actually forget all right there you go now that is connected and prevent is now running so what are we going to do now is we tap on the burger icon we go to exec command and we're going to go to scene app we tap adb mode we accept the risk right here make sure you read all the agreements of course and you're going to copy paste this sh all the way up to the back so we don't need the first two words. It's gonna look like this. We're gonna run it like that. Uh, that doesn't work anymore because somehow we got disconnected from the wireless debugging. But anyway, we're gonna execute the comment one more time. Paste here. And as you can see, install BZBox. And once you see this smiley icon, that means we're all set up. Basically, the scene on Mario app will now keep on working on ADB mode until you restart the phone. After you start the phone, you have to do all the process one more time, but it's not like Suzuku where it gets killed in the middle of your test or whatever it is. To do the actual testing, you need a permission to display application overlay. So what you're going to do is you go to scene app, tap on it and you go app info and you go to display over other apps here. Just turn on like that. And of course, we are going to delete the pause app as well as the battery here. It's usually now unrestricted, which is good. And we can display the first, the classical monitor here, the FPS stats right here, and the temperature monitor. And these are the three things that I usually use. Now we tap on OK, and we're going to, let's say, play a game. What you're going to do, I'm not actually going to play it right now, but once you are in the game and you are playing, you can tap on this FPS meter, 
and set a timer let's say five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes usually i do a 10 minutes gameplay run and it will record the performance of that 10 minute run and you can see all the temperature all the cpu and gpu usage right here so we we'll go to the menu on the top left we we'll go to fps stats and we have our fresh new data right here now we can see the variance the maximum minimum average fps as well as the maximum temperature and power also the smoothness score that i always mention how much percentage of the whole 10 minute you're testing that it is above 45 fps and finally the last five percent low fps which is if you average at 40 fps and your low is at 30 fps that means the game is very stable if you average like 60 fps and your low is 15 fps or something that means you are fluctuating a lot and the game very much lags also you can see all the graph right here the frame time that also says a lot about the jittery or the lag you are experiencing while gaming okay so that's pretty much it for the infinix here we're gonna see for the iq 13 here okay accept go enjoy launch allow Wireless debugging, go down, wireless debugging, turn on, and we pair 607102. All right, we have successfully paired prevent. We go to scene app now, and by the way, I already have some of the data here because I used Shizuku before, but if you want to close the scene app now, you have to go and force stop the app on app info page. So we're going to open it one more time, ADB mode, and we copy paste from the sh and run it on prevent yeah that's not working because we are not uh wirelessly debugging anymore so you have to go back okay now it reconnects by itself we run the code one more time install busybox smiley face so that's working now okay we go to adb mode and i already gave permission for display thing and we're gonna run a game let's say a uh, honkai story and as you can see here with different phones we get different stats with infinix we don't get the cpu memory and gpu temperature while on iq here we get all the temperatures detail there you go pretty much the same as before now because we are running at 60 fps we get this above 45 fps smoothness data but in real life the iq neo 10 performs more like this it goes all the way up to 46 degrees celsius and this is a real breakdown by the way you can see that it's pretty much in line except for the very first line there and the frame time jumps all over the place but yeah for full details check out my iq neo 10 review and last but not least let's do it on the poco f6 right here okay we go to developer settings we go down that's wireless debugging the toggle is not directly right beside it but we go immediately inside i already paired prevent yeah now that works just normal so the pairing procedure is the same as before let's try to tap cancel there and see if we can still execute the command paste All right looks like it's working even without sufficient permission <laughs> so we're going to go to scene right now and go adb mode we toggle over the monitor thing so what we can see here immediately from poco or xiaomi devices you can immediately see all the temperatures of all the statistics just like iq and subsequently you will also have the same thing on vivo as well and one more very important note from my side is you have to differentiate single cell and dual cell batteries we have the perfect example here with poco f6 that we have a single cell battery that charges at 90 watts and usually above 100 watt this is the iq neo 10 at 120 watts it has two cells connected in parallel so what you need to do when doing calculation and noting it down you have to multiply this average power by two so that means the phone is actually using 4.5 watt ish instead and i don't know if you noticed or not but i've been using the vivo x fold 5 as my primary camera right here so what do you think of the video quality i use the pro mode my microphone is connected directly to the phone what do you think of the audio as well? And I hope this helped. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kenneth. I'll see you in the next one.